Today we're gonna to take you on a tour of our homestead, pre-home. We're fortunate to already have a drivable pathway. As you can see, we've started to kind of establish a grass drive. What? Are you okay? Yep. I just had to avoid stepping into the ditch as I backed up for a better view. Okay, back away a little bit. All right, this is where the mobile home used to be. But I think of this as kind of like our park because um, it's just very nicely mowed down. All this is going to be fenced in, so it'll be a really nice little playground for the girls to play in. And yeah, so just to add to that, trees. our plan is to put a board fence right up along this road so it looks like a little farm as you drive up. And this used to be pine trees, planted pine trees, and they were harvested for timber a couple years ago. So there's a little bit more weeds in this area, a lot of thorns and a little bit of cactus and random weeds. That one little line of pine trees is where the edge of that timber was. And it came out to about um, where the tall weeds and all these tall weeds, that's kind of the, the previous timber area. Here we're continuing to walk down our driveway to where our home set will be and I'm walking really fast. <laughs> So this area right here is going to be our driveway, shed, possibly greenhouse in the future. Um, yeah, greenhouse mostly, bordering the uh, garden area over there yeah. where the weeds mostly, start. That'll be sort of a garden chicken pasture. Mostly driveway and shed. By the way, you want to explain a little bit about the chicken, why the chicken and garden area is the same as one in the same? Yeah, so we were inspired by Justin Rhodes and his permaculture chicken. And uh, we still need to watch that movie though. Um, and how the chickens, by fertilizing and picking at the grass, they really make the soil ideal for gardening. So we're gonna put a chicken, we're gonna make a chicken tractor, and then we'll basically just move it from place to place all around our garden, proposed garden. and. And so they'll it'll really kind of help. turn up that soil. So, shall we keep going? And then right here, obviously, is the house. And we're planning actually on measuring it out. And here are the flags. Showed you kind of where, you know, the back of the house obviously is pointed to the two flags here. To the pond. And this is how that way. For the and other two the flags. Of the house, you see that beautiful pasture out there with the cows. But we're gonna have a, a separate fenced in section. All of this, which is probably about four acres, is gonna be fenced in. And this whole area is gonna be our goat slash sheep field. Pasture. Um, pasture. The driveway's coming up here. And then the fence is going to start, for the, for the pasture, it's going to start kind of coming at an angle. So we're using as much of the space in front of the house as possible. This so we are now in the house. Where's the other? There it is. <laughs> so the deck will be over here. Because the, the, I think the utility room is over in the corner, isn't it? It's not the far corner because that's our bathroom. Okay. Then there's so. the utility room. We walk out onto the deck. And then I'm hoping they can put the, the stairs on the side of the deck so we walk this way. So we'll be walking out into the backyard here. This, is the, this will be our little backyard. And this will be our beautiful view. Here's the view. I'm going to take down some of the small trees so yeah. that it doesn't get overcrowded, but also for the sake of the view, because it's pretty.
we've walked around the pond. There's a, a sort of a narrower section of property back here uh, that passes around the pond and it opens up into another about acre si about an acre size pasture. Um, this is where I want to do all of my favorite projects. So and over there, including honeybees over in that corner. So that'll also help with uh, pollination for the orchard. So we want to plant some fruit trees like peaches and maybe pears or something like that. But uh, blueberry bushes, some other different berry plants, um, and then one of my favorite projects I'm looking forward to, planting some muscadine grapevines. And uh, just using this whole area back here as an orchard, it's farther away from the house, so it's harder to make it back here on a regular, like on a daily basis, to care for animals or anything like that. It's about an acre, we're guessing. Yeah. It covers about the same area as the pond. pretty exciting plans for the pond itself. The best thing, or the most exciting thing about it, um, is we want to raise fish where um, it kind of continues. And then we have a food supply of protein and meat. Oh wow, that is a big ant pile. Oh my. Um, okay, Whoa. over here. Can you see Don't that? Try. Okay, it's over there, it's not on you, okay? It's crawling. So, it's good to have a couple varieties of fish so that some are smaller. You can get different kinds of minnows, different types of smaller bream fish like bluegill or sunfish. And those can serve as, as prey that um, larger species like largemouth bass. Um, we've read about striped hybrid bass, um, channel catfish. It all depends on what you'd rather eat and if you like the taste of certain kinds of fish. I think that covers it for all our future plans for the farm. I'm sure we'll come up with a lot more details as we actually start the process. But you want to go play and fly some drones around? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey Anna. She's scared. Oh. She's 